So the Bears and Bengals may actually have a potential deal heating up that could land Chicago some more draft capital in the upcoming drafts. The Bengals are in need of a running back one to support their offense after they parted ways with Pro Bowl running back Joe Mixon, which I was like, man, that's going to hurt them in the long run big time. And yes, the Bengals do have a very strong offense overall. Decent offensive line, especially after improving the last couple of years. Quarter back Joe Burrow wide receiver room that's super top-notch at the moment there's a little bit of disruption there as well but they don't have much going on from a running back perspective and some rumors have begun to swirl around that they have been calling teams that are either very deep or too deep at the running back position and have something to give and they want to see if the Bengals can snag a proven veteran running back to bring in and replace Joe Mixon for a fraction of the cost and yes According to various reports over the last couple of days, the Bears are one of those teams that are very running back deep at the moment that the Cincinnati Bengals have contacted about taking a running back off our hands. As the great Tony Sapita would say, never overpay a running back. And right now, the Bears did pay a running back, not overpay, in my opinion, in DeAndre Swift on a three-year contract this past offseason. And with Herbert only having one year left on his rookie contract, why not send him off and get some draft capital. He is one of the most dangerous running backs from the backfield over the last couple of seasons from a dual threat perspective and has helped become a leader in not only the locker room, but also a league leader in rushing. The Bears have ranked number one and number two the last two seasons thanks to Herbert's efforts and he is a complete dual threat. The one thing that brings his stock down so low, I can't even explain it, is his blocking ability and he does struggle there, no doubt about it. And also, the Bears are super deep at the running back room right now with second-year man Rashawn Johnson out of Texas, who is underused last year, in my opinion, still had over 600 yards of offense and is a super strong blocker. And trading Herbert would give him a ton more playing time at running back too. And I honestly could see Ryan Poles pulling this off. So yes, unfortunately, Khalil Herbert could be on the trade block, though he is a fantastic player, teammate, and community guy. Biz- Business is business, and he is the big target of today for the Chicago Bears that could be heading to the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, before I begin today's show, if you would like to see the Chicago Bears trade Khalil Herbert and get some more draft capital out of it, comment the trade that you would do with the Cincinnati Bengals that would be fair to both sides. Along with that, also hit the like button on this video if you think this team is a lot better than last year and you're ready for some Chicago Bears football. And if you haven't already, please could hit that subscribe button with notifications if you haven't already to stay up to date on all Chicago Bears news and updates. So we all know who Khalil Herbert is, right? You know, we've loved him over the last couple of years. He's been a great asset and he still has a good career ahead of him. The 26-year-old stands at 5'9", 212 pounds, making him an absolute tank only with three years pro under his belt. He was drafted in the sixth round at pick number 217 out of Virginia Tech in 2021. And he's on the last year of his rookie contract with a $1.078 million cap hit. So he's going to want to get paid next year. The Bears are pretty locked in at running back, right? At least running back one right now. They got more guys that they got to pay. They're putting together this Super Bowl roster right now. And Herbert, unfortunately, might be on the chopping block. And he is not one of Ryan Pohl's guys. He was drafted by Ryan Pace in Pace's last draft as a GM. So it's that, you know, that relationship is there, but it's not as close as you might think. Now, he's been a strong piece of this running back room, again, for the last couple of years for the Chicago Bears and a dual threat, but just isn't a strong blocker. And that's why he likely will be on the move. In last season, even though he only played in 12 games and had an incompetent offensive coordinator in Luke Getze, who just didn't know how to balance an offense, he still put up some pretty strong numbers. 132 rushes for 611 rushing yards, 4.6 yard per carry average, with two rushing touchdowns, along with showing off that dual threat skill of 134 receiving yards and one receiving touchdown. In total, 745 all-purpose yards while being inconsistent. That's a huge win win in my book and I can see why the Cincinnati Bengals want to snag him and why Duke Tobin's calling the Chicago Bears they lost Joe Mixon they don't really have a total running back to determine that roster I mean they need more obviously right now they want to keep the offense moving and happy they need a veteran but also young at the same time that's a dual threat and a guy that they can use on a one-year rental potentially 
and that's pretty darn cheap. So the trade that I would do, running backs are pretty easy to pick up in free agency mid round or later, or even an undrafted rookie free agency. But with how cheap that Herbert's gonna be this upcoming year, he's a pretty attractive guy, especially on a team like Cincinnati who does have an opportunity to make a push. And Poles loves his draft capital, and it may cost a little bit more than you think for the Bengals to take him off our hands. I would send Cincinnati Herbert straight up, no doubt about that, for a 25 fourth and a 26 six. Why? Because we lost our 25 fourth when we traded back into this year's draft that ended up getting us Austin Booker, which was by far a total steal. Along with that, on top of it, why not have an extra pick in 2026? And you can pair that with another later on pick and potentially move up, you know, a, not too much, but you never know what Ryan Poles could have up his sleeve. I like Herber a lot. He's been fun to watch, but this is a business at the end of the day and honestly a good deal in my book. But that's it for this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. Thank you for tuning in. And please, if you haven't already, put your thoughts in the comment section below on this video along with the trade that you would do, along with hitting that like button to show your support and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all Chicago Bears news and content. Thank you, as always, for tuning this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, let's hear it. Bear down, baby.